Welcome to Film Right Mondays. Today we're answering questions, but before we do that, a few announcements. First of all, we are kicking off a sale as of today. The sale will last for our store from today, September 25th, until October 1st, and that is 40% off all of our digital downloads. So if you're looking to get any of those, definitely jump on that now. We're also releasing a brand new product, which is a new LUT pack. This is our film stock LUT pack. Again, we are basing it off of films, but we're basing it off of the film stock that those specific films use. And there's 29 LUTs in total, like the Argo LUT, Casino Royale, J. Edgar. Then we have a few Kodak LUTs in there, Nightcrawler, uh, Ruck Rim for a Dream, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, just a bunch of really great looks for you to be able to use for your project. And again, we have that in different formats. We have the standard, generic, Panasonic, Airy, Red, Black Magic, Canon C-Line, Sony S, and utility LUTs that'll let you convert as well. So it's a really solid pack. So definitely jump over to our store to check that out and to get on the sale. Then an update for our one minute short film competition. First of all, yes, it's worldwide. I've been asked this a lot, forgot to add it to the announcement, but it is worldwide open to all of you. But now we've also been able to get a one year license to Adobe Creative Cloud for the winner as well. So that's stacked on top of all the other amazing prizes that we have. So definitely jump on that if you haven't. If you need more details, check out last Monday's episode. First question, Bloodtober. This year there will not be a Bloodtober and that's for a lot of reasons. One of which I have a new babies. By the time you watch this, I will be a father again, so I'll have two babies. So that's kind of putting a wrench into the works, but we're also working on a new short film that we're gonna be shooting mid-October that is not for Halloween. It'll probably come out in November. Uh, and we have a few other things that we're working on. Plus I'm working on a few things behind the scenes um, that I can't talk about at the moment because they might never turn into anything, but that's taking up a lot of time as well. So with all that combined, there's just no time to be able to pump out a Bloodtober, but that just means we're gonna have to make next year's Bloodtober like 10 times better. Would you choose an A-list actor that doesn't fit the role 100%, let's say 60%, or an unknown actor that fits 100%, assuming both fit budget and would love to join the cast? Fitting a role is a funny thing for me. I've cast people that didn't fit the role for the character that I had in my head, but they evolved the character into something else that worked a lot better for the story. But if you're just talking about something that has to work for the story and character, of course, that's a thing. And I would go for what fits 100%. Of course, I'm, I'm trying to make the best project I possibly can, not, you know, just trying to get views. I, I want to make something that can be as great as it possibly can be to give people an experience that I'm trying to give them for them to enjoy. And I would rather 100 people enjoy it 100% than 100,000 people enjoy it 50%. So let's say I've watched the tutorials, built the DIY rigs, assembled a crew of semi-volunteer friends, and I've done it. The short film is finished, ready for the whole world. What do I do now? Upload it to YouTube and hope for the best. How can I get the most exposure starting out? Even for people with a following, there is hope for the best involved. We've had some short films that have vastly underperformed compared to other short films, so it's not always a guaranteed thing. Um, but you do need to put in some work still. Once you put it online, you need to uh, you know, go watch other people's stuff, comment and like on their stuff. Hopefully they'll come and watch yours. Send it to as many blogs as you possibly can, especially if it's sort of a genre piece like horror. Send it to horror blogs, places that might be interested and want to post it, especially if you have some kind of story or narrative around it. Like say Proximity, for instance, we had a project that fell through and then instead of sulking about it, we went out and shot something anyway for only 300 bucks and put that online. That was a story that we could tell blogs, hey, look at what we did and here's behind the scenes that shows it. And it has something that gives them something to post about. So that's really helpful as well. If there's some sort of narrative you can wrap around the making of it, that will help get attention. As well, if you haven't put it out yet, you can also send it to places like Short of the Week that will take a short film and premiere it and help get eyes on it. Uh, of course, they're not taking everyone's, but you can submit it and see if it's something that they're interested in and then just post it wherever you possibly can. Even go on Twitter, ask people to watch it. There's nothing wrong with that. Just be humble about it. And after all that, yeah, hope for the best. What keeps you going? How do you keep the naysayers and negative thoughts out of your head when trying to create? I think a lot of it just comes from doing and getting a confidence 
confidence of, no, I can see this. I think this is going to be good. And you've proven it to yourself enough times to where you can trust your gut when you really know that it's good. But you have to stay objective and you you can't have ego there. That way, uh, if you do have some doubt, well, uh, okay, maybe they're right then. Let me really look at this. Uh, otherwise, there's been a lot of times where some people didn't really see what I was seeing and I stuck to my guns because I could see it and I, I knew it in my gut that this was a good idea and this was going to work and then it did. So it's that. It's I, I think it's a lot of just building that experience uh, to be able to make those calls and just have passion enough to not care. You know what I mean? Like if I make movies and nobody watches them, I still want to make them. I, I love making films. I love putting stories together for an audience. And again, if there's only a handful of people that like it and the majority don't, well, I'm making it for that handful of people. Hopefully the majority likes it. But, you know, I mean, I'm not doing this to win awards, get views and make money, although all those things are nice. I'm doing it because I love it so much I can't not do it. Last question. I'm having trouble staying focused with my writing. I'll find myself telling too many stories at once when I need to stay focused on one main central conflict, especially in shorts. Tips. P.S. Can Josh say hi to me on camera? No, because he's not here. So... Sorry. But that that's something that I have trouble with too. And I think, and I think I've said it before, I think deadlines will really help you quite a bit. Uh, when you only have a certain period of time, it's very easy to cut out the fat of what you're doing. Because it's very much like editing uh, in post-production. You have to cut the fat out and really get to the central core of what it is you're trying to tell. Figure out what the themes are that you're trying to land on and whose story it is. What is the background? What are you trying to say with all this? And that'll guide everything else. And if what you're trying to add doesn't service that and doesn't have to be there, then just get rid of it. Uh, and when you have deadlines and you don't have time to really pile on the fat, you keep it very lean and you keep moving forward. And then once you have that, then you can go back and see if you do need to add some stuff. That's at least how I've done it, but it is something that I do still struggle with myself. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, or innovator, Domain.com is a place to go when the next idea hits you. When you get a domain name from Domain.com, you're taking the first steps for creating a vision and identity for your brand or idea. Of course, .com and .net are the two premier, most recognized domain name extensions, which means those are the ones that are going to help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. Domain.com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use, and they're giving you 25% off when you use the coupon code FILMRIOT at Domain.com's checkout when you get web hosting, emails, and domain names. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Logo. So that's it for today. Don't forget about the sale that's happening right now. Links for that in the notes below. And for what I'm watching or reading in this case is Violent Love. It's a comic book by my friend Frank Barberi. It's on issue number eight. You can find out more info on that below as well. So definitely check that out. I'm really digging it. Until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat. Mm -hmm.